our topic is going to be on the miracle healing of black seed oil. I want to say welcome. Hopefully you're having a good day or a good night wherever you are. Uh, this is such a, a miraculous uh, type of oil, type of seed, and there's so much I want to talk about this. This is uh, really exciting because of the fact that um, I'm even on this, a good buddy of mine who is a big nutritionist worldwide. Uh, I, he had a, a, a beautiful a little thing. He came together with me and he had a long discussion with me and he started pulling out all these little things. So guess what? I did my homework. A lot to say. I'm going to go through it as quick as I can. A black seed oil has been shown to have amazing antioxidant properties. It reduces inflammation. It treats many conditions. It will lower blood pressure, help asthma. Uh, it, it's actually used as a beauty type of treatment for the skin in here. Now, there, this plant is called Nigella sativa. And this is the flowering shrub with these purple or these white tinged flowers that grows in Eastern Europe and in the Middle East and Western Asia. We've got a lot of listeners right now in the chat room uh, who are going to relate to this because this is something in their home uh, town that they have been doing for numerous years. Now understand, archaeologists have, have even found uh, that King Tut's tomb, uh, tome, uh, King's Tut, King Tut, where he obviously is put away, they have found this all around. I mean, this is going back thousands of years. Uh, so they emphasize the importance of this in history for the healing and for the protection of our body. This has been used in cooking for flavorings of breads, curries, pickles. Uh, and this has amazing benefits that I'm going to go through. Now, some additional names you may have heard about this particular black seed oil, uh, black caraway, black cumin, black onion seed, or what we call kalanji. Kalanji, uh, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But uh, this has, as I said, amazing anti-inflammatory uh, properties. There are hundreds and hundreds of papers out there in the literature. I want to say hello to my chatters out there. Um, there are hundreds of of literature, of, of papers, just in, in so many things. But let's just go through it quick and because there's a lot I'm going to talk about. I'm going to tell you dosages, a little bit about it. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. I have it in front of me. Um, but reducing blood pressure, it's been known to really help tremendous tremendously a mild even elevated blood pressure uh, and people out there first thing I'll tell you is that if you uh, are having any kinds of problems okay any medical that you're having I always recommend to follow up with your medical doctor any drugs you're taking when you decide to take any of these types of medications uh, I'm, I'm sorry this particular with any kinds of medications uh, make sure you speak to your doctor because this will potentially lower your, your sugar levels. It will lower your blood pressure. It will lower your cholesterol. So you need to have good communication. It, I am not recommending anyone to do anything. My job here is to give you the information and for, for you to really do the research with your own health and your doctor. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, it, it reduces uh, symptoms, reduces inflammation in the bronchioles and the bronchus. It helps you breathe easier, reduces stomach upset, uh, and relieving stomach pain and cramps. Uh, there are many studies out there about fighting cancers, uh, and they actually have they have research. Uh, and beauty, just to throw a few things out at you, hydrating here makes it softer, makes it shine. Psoriasis uh, can actually just reduce the incidence of those plaques on your skin. It helps wound healing. It has antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, uh, antiviral, antibacterial, anti uh, you name it, it's got it. Uh, it's really an amazing uh, type of oil, or we say uh, seed that's turned into the oil, which I'll go into a little bit uh, later. Uh, it is very safe, uh, although I want to go ahead and state that uh, this particular oil is known to increase the processes of the effects of medication. So if you are taking blood pressure medication, it may take it down lower, all right, because it will help it. There's, it's known to do that, like up to 90%. It, 
in other kinds, certain types of medications like beta blockers, maybe even like blood thinners, uh, warfarin, Coumadin. Uh, so you need to speak to your doctor before you do any of these kind of things just to make sure that it is safe for you. Uh, they use this in different foods, which I'm not really that aware, and I'm sure our, our audience is going to be able to tell us more about this in, in the chat room, particularly if you are from Southeastern Asia, India, uh, Saudi Arabia, out in those countries. This is really big out there, and uh, this is quite fascinating. So we invite you to leave your chats and leave your messages under uh, this particular video, video on my channel when it gets posted. So let's go for the really nuts and bolts here. Um, I have so much to say, and I'm kind of like picking off a, a whole bunch of different sources just to give you a little understanding. As we said, you know, these black seeds that you can see the picture right there, um, this is the, uh, it's like a thick shaped cumin seed, most commonly referred to the black seed, to the black cumin seeds. Uh, the black seed oil, they say, what is, what is black seed oil made from? Well, the black seed oil is made from this nigella sativa plant. Uh, through the process which compresses these seeds and extracts the oils. Now, um, I think the oils are the best to take. Now, I'll go into that a little later, but, but just I wanted to say that for a few reasons. It's easy to take. We're taking about a teaspoon a day, preferably on an empty stomach. Um, here's a quick list. I, I briefly want to go ahead and state uh, here. It says a quick list of ways to the black seeds. They say consume a teaspoon of black seed oil. Uh, you can mix the teaspoon of black seed oil with honey, consume the black seeds plain, but you need to boil it. Very important. You need to boil it with the black seeds. You need to let it simmer, and then you can add the black seeds to your food, your pastries, and bread. Now, there's a lot of research on there, a lot of good stuff on Google. You should Google about how to prepare this if you're interested in using the black seeds. But for me, I'm lazy. Uh, lazy meaning I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Here is black seed oil. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to briefly go ahead and come back to this a little bit later. Uh, this is a beautiful thing, but low in omega-3s, you need to make sure you add additional omega-3s omega to your diet. Uh, so let's go into some very nuts and bolts here. Antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antifungal, anti-cancer, anti-asthmatic, antihistamine, antiviral, anticoagulant. Uh, coagulant. So uh, there are just so many things that this thing does. And this probably about all the things that I've talked about here on YouTube, this seems to like really stick out out of everything. There's just so many different things that it does. And we're going back to uh, thousands of years, a couple thousand years. Uh, you know, medicine, food, herbs, uh, this should be our best medicine. You know, uh, if we can sustain, keep our bodies healthy, have our body fight cancer, have our body, you know, stay healthier, have our blood pressure, our cholesterol, all work naturally by taking the right nutrients. Uh, that's why we're here. Uh, so uh, as we say, it comes from the Mediterranean, Europe, Asia, North, North Africa, and this has been uh, around a long, long time. Now let's go into the fun nights of nuts and bolts. Uh, this has mainly more omega-6 and omega-9 fatty acids, uh, mainly more omega-6, omega-9. And by percentages, we're looking more of omega-6 than omega-9. Now, we get a lot of omega-6 from our seeds, from our oils. So we must consume more omega-3 because too much omega-6 to omega-3 becomes inflammatory. I don't care how good the product is, but consuming more omega-3s like your flax seeds, your chia, but preferably either the plankton, uh, the phytoplankton from the from the sea, uh, the algae, uh, or like as I say, the fish oils, which are good because of the fact that our chia seeds or flaxseed oils have to be converted into the DHA and, and to the, the, the real uh, fish oils that we're talking about. So EPA too. Um, so let's talk about the fungal infections. Uh, this happens everywhere within our body uh, all the time. Our immune system should be strong when our immune system becomes depleted, HIV uh, and other types of diseases, even like can candida, candida albicans, uh, yeast infections. Uh, these, these funguses can overwhelm our body. This is a great thing to maybe adjunct if you have a, a, if you have a history of maybe candida or, or yeast infections or something like that. But uh, this can be a, a lifesaver for you. So I wanted to share that. But in the same token, if you are a, a candidate of having yeast infections, uh, you need to cut down the sugar. They're, they're living off your sugar. 
Um, probably my next video is going to be all about sugar, the toxins, poisons, and what sugar does to us and how it causes pain in our body. That, that just seems to come up everywhere. Allergies, a great thing, helps relieve allergies. I wanted to bring that out to our people out there who have like histamine reactions, sinus, like I do at times. Uh, we talked about in our other videos about bee uh, uh, honey and bee pollen, very good for as antihistamines. Uh, pr to prevent, like a natural antihistamine, to prevent that histamine from being released from allergies, from pollens and stuff like that. Good for our skin, great for our skin. It's a great moisturizer. Uh, it's a great protector against sunburn, a great anti-aging priority to help, uh, property to help prevent wrinkles. Uh, they have a, a study here about melanoma. It's quite interesting. Uh, I'm not going to go into the study, but it does boost that immune system. So anyone with skin cancers, here is something that you want to do your homework on. I really think it can do well. If you are a person who has acne, uh, uh, a younger person who has acne, maybe even like an elderly person who has acne, because acne can come at any age uh, from hormonal imbalances, uh, this is a powerful reju re rejuvenating uh, type of inflammatory property that can help clear up your skin. And you can do your homework on that about putting it directly on your skin as well as uh, ingesting it internally. Uh, infection killer because it does actually boost up the immune system. Uh, believe it or not, here's a study that talks about infertility. Uh, it talks about uh, how it's been used to improve the reproductive health of women going back many, many years ago. Uh, excellent for your hair. Uh, and promoting hair health, which I'm not going to go into the, the details. If you are one that has an, a weakened immune system and you seem to catch colds a lot or have a weak resistance of catching the flu, this is something that can really, really boost you up. There's some really interesting studies on there as well. They talk about uh, coughs and asthma. It will uh, work as an anti-inflammatory by boosting the immune system. It's antibacterial properties. It uh, helps uh, actually uh, antivirus properties because realize if you are a person who has the flu or a cold and you're taking antibiotics, don't waste your time. You're just weakening your resistance. Remember, antibiotics do not work on viruses. Only antibiotics work on bacteria. Okay, it's very important we understand that. Uh, I know the reason why I say that because, you know, Sally, sows, Sa Sally goes to Dick and Dick goes to Jane and says, let me borrow your antibiotics. I got a bad flu. I got a bad cough. You're wasting your time. Don't waste your time. This is the kind of stuff you should be taking. I mean, you want to boost up your immune system. You better do it naturally. Don't take that stuff for that. It's not going to do you any good. Uh, this is a, a key, key thing for blood pressure. Blood pressure is such a major epidemic worldwide. Uh, that is something that, that, you know, I'm taking it. You know, I want to maintain a good blood pressure. Uh, I want to make sure, you know, it lowers the cholesterol uh, the, the right way, the natural way. So if you are on blood pressure medication, predominantly uh, uh, beta blockers, uh, uh, I want you to make sure you monitor it and speak to your doctor just to make sure that you do not drop too low or potentially you can get off your meds. Uh, insomnia, um, I haven't tried this yet, but they, they've done studies with sleeping disorders. So if you are a person who has difficulty getting to sleep, something that you may want to take, preferably they say on an empty stomach. Okay. Now you're going to ask me how this tastes. It doesn't taste like lemonade. All right. Some people may repeat on them a little bit, but I think it's fine. One teaspoon a day. I think you can do pretty well. And you know what? Let me tell you, I've been on a few days. I feel energy. That's my biggest change right now. I feel energy. I feel clear. I feel focus. It seems like I can remember. Maybe my dementia is going away. I don't know. But um, I'm, I'm curious how this stuff really reacts because uh, this is the best way to really teach people. You know, you're going to take it and you say, wow, you know, my PMS is gone. I don't get cramps anymore. My digestion's better. I don't feel the fluttering in my heart. Okay. That's the exciting part about nutrition because one little bit of bile chemically imbalance or chemical imbalance can throw all kinds of things out. They use this as a remedy, uh, as a, the black seed oil for toothaches. And there are remedies. You can rub it directly on the tooth, helps take away a lot of the pain, helps numb it up. Uh, they talk about leukemia cells. Uh, studies show that black seeds has an anti-proliferative effects on human myoblastic leukemia, HL60 cells. Uh, very interesting. I, I don't know uh, much deep in detail, but this is something I'm looking at. They talk about breast cancer. Uh, they talked about it helps suppress the cancer cell reproduction. 
Uh, I am not going to tell you to take this without getting followed up with a doctor for anything, but they talk about here colon cancer cells, how it actually can uh, inhibit the growth, which is quite pretty amazing. We mentioned about psoriasis, any type of skin dysfunction, eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, uh, something that you want to look into. Weight loss, I really don't know much about this. They talk about how it can speed up your metabolism, lower your appetite. Uh, that is quite interesting. They have studies on here about diabetes. Uh, it, it's not only for type 1 and type 2, but they, they say overall for blood health. So uh, that is something uh, quite interesting. There are many other herbs that have been very effective with diabetes. Uh, we've talked about this, particularly like cinnamon in one of our videos. So if you have uh, sugar imbalances, go ahead and check my video out on cinnamon. I think you'll find that quite interesting. It's any type of condition regarding inflammation, like a tonsillitis, uh, anything with itis at the end is inflammation, gastritis, tonsillitis, uh, col colitis, uh, diverticulitis, uh, all those itises, it's good because it's an anti-inflammatory. And itis just means inflammation. So if you look at the word, don't let the word kind of, you know, scare you. You know, I have an itis. I have this disease. You know, doctors have to call it something to bill your insurance. I hate to say it, but that is the truth sometimes. Um, let's go away from there. Talk about uh, people who have had radiation. Uh, very good to take this. It does state, it does state remember, uh, when you are in the gamma radiation, there is damage to skin, damage to cells. They do state that this has been uh, a strong immune, uh, immune booster in, in these particular conditions. Uh, stings, wasps, uh, again, inflammation, uh, chest congestion, uh, very good. They talk about diseases of vision. That's quite interesting. I like to do some really uh, deep research on this myself just on vision because uh, we could all, we can't afford to have bad vision. So any way we can accelerate our vision, uh, you know, to me, you know, you, you have great antioxidants. Your berries are, 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 are excellent. Your bilberries are excellent. Uh, you know, so we need to preserve our eye health just like we talk about omega-3s. There's nothing better for eye vision than omega-3s. All right. I know I'm going off the topic a little bit, but we're talking about vision. Omega-3 is one of the best. Okay. So congestion, uh, they go into different things with the liver, uh, along with the liver stones, gallstones, uh, gas and flagellants. They talk about hemorrhoids because it is an inflammatory condition. Uh, it does increase uh, immunity. That's a very important thing. They mentioned dementia, and I swear, I swear to you, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking clear. I, I remember things a little better. All right. So as I read this, I say, you know what? I only took this just a little bit, just a few days. Um, so it really sharpens you up. It really, it does something to you. And I'm going to really monitor this because I want to share whatever I can share with you from my experience. And I'm sure I'd love to hear your experience too, for those who are on it or decide to, to, to maybe test this out for their own health. So for stomach ailments, uh, digestive ailments, uh, studies show that uh, this does seem to take away a lot of like stomach gastric pain. Uh, I'm not going to say to use it for any type of ulcers unless you get it evaluated. Find out with your gastroenterologist. Uh, I don't want to uh, tell people or get hopes up on people to say, hey, you know, I have this problem. I'm going to go do what Dr. Mandel says. That's not what this program is about. The program is strictly to give you education, to give you some homework, to, to give you a door you can open up and say, hey, listen, you know, even though it's dark in here, I'm going to put the light on. I'm going to find that light. And that light is your health. Okay. That's what we want to teach. We want to teach people to be more proactive uh, with your own health. Uh, they go into areas like dandruff, anything to do with the hair, glowing of the hair, probably, you know, the, 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 when the hair gets all stranded out and weedy, uh, I don't have hair, so I can't, I don't have experience about hair, but, um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, it, there's a lot of great things they talk about when it comes down to your skin and hair. And I, I just thought I would share that. Now they mentioned some things cause a lot of people on my channel have pain, herniated disc, poor posture, rounded shoulders, uh, sciatica, degenerative disc disease, and they go into to joint pain and it will help joint pain because it's an anti-inflammatory. If something reduces inflammation, it's going to make you feel better. It can have less swelling, less, less compression. 
So I wanted to bring that out. Now, here's something about females, about their periods, about your menstrual cycles. Here's an article that talks about menses, discharge. Uh, they talk about, you know, stomach pain or even weaknesses or, or changes that take place or maybe imbalances in your menstrual cycle. Here is something you may want to do some homework because they do bring this up. And I wanted to just bring that out to you. Arthritis, we're going the same thing back to herniated discs, bulging discs, or degenerative joint disease. Arthritis basically means that there's inflammation in the joint. Um, it's causing a inflammatory response. We're reducing inflammation. And basically all arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, psoriatic arthritis, we're reducing inflammation. So just keep that in mind. Uh, <clears throat> here's something that I'm going to share this with a couple of my patients. Uh, they have an article about anxieties. Uh, they know that the inflammation has negative effects on the psychosis and many psychiatric problems. They show that the black seed oil to be far more effective in stabilizing mood and lowering anxiety levels after daily use for 30 days. So that's an article I wanted to mention to you as well. Uh, burns because it has the effects. I'm not going to, I wouldn't use this on my burns. I'd rather use, you know, the, 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 the proven drugstore stuff, the antibiotic uh, stuff or, and, you know, the creams that I can count on. So, but it does talk about that. They go into kidney health. They go into increased sperm health uh, for males who have uh, low sperm counts. Uh, you may want to look into studies on this because um, I've had patients that came in with low back pain that people couldn't get pregnant. And after their accident, they came into my office, they ended up getting pregnant. And it wasn't me. Okay, I promise you. Um, but by, you know, by doing adjustments to the lower back or to where the nerve is supplying, you know, the, the, the male or female reproductive organs, uh, their system started to function and heal. And uh, I had about a half a dozen females who got pregnant, not males. So, um, they go into some different things about HIV, which I'm not going to go into about prostate problems, uh, quite interesting and lethargic. So if you are one that feels lethargic and, and that I, I'm testifying to that right now, okay, it gives you energy, all right? I have energy. I just feel clear. I, I can, re, I, my memory is better. All right. I am, I'm more focused. I have more energy. Only a few days. Okay. One, one teaspoon. Um, they talk about uh, here, protects against damage from heart attacks. Well, th remember, it's reducing inflammation. Uh, black seed oil can significantly lower the inf inflammation in cardiovascular problems. I mean, what is cardiovascular problems? It's inflammation. How do you get, you know, uh, blockages to the through the coronary arteries to the heart? Inflammation. When you have inflammation in an artery or in a vessel, that's when cholesterol goes in and starts to patch up and it starts adding to the inflammation. It starts to thicken up and it blocks blood, but it's inflammation. Every disease is tied into inflammation. Reduce inflammation, you help your health, and that's quite exciting. Uh, they go into Parkinson's disease. They go into other areas of the brain, inflammation. So we don't want to get so carried away, you know, just on names. Let's get carried away on health, on life, on healing on repair, on the good, you know, recoup, the innate intelligence within your body that can do what it needs to do. Names don't mean anything. Just do what your body needs to do and repair and heal and live your life and be happy and live a long life. That's what it's all about. Uh, they talk about, we mentioned the liver cells, uh, cancer cells. We mentioned that liver health, pancreatic, and they go into many different types of cancers and lots of different cancers. Read those studies. I think it's quite fascinating, uh, quite, quite fascinating about the cancers. Uh, it, you know, cancer is a biggie today. That's one of the leading killers uh, in the world, not just here in the United States. Uh, so there are many different ways of taking this uh, particular uh, oil. Um, there are many uh, sites and many things you can read on black seed. Uh, and it will tell you many different ways you can take it and make it and do what you have to do. I'm not going to go into all of those. Uh, they talk about, for example, here, one tablespoon of oil mixed with one teaspoon of raw, raw honey, um, one half hour before breakfast. So they talk, they talk about one tablespoon. Okay, wait one second here. They mention a tablespoon. I'm mentioning a teaspoon. That's what it says in the bottle. Okay. I guess you can start out on a teaspoon, 
but I want to precisely say I am taking the teaspoon. I always believe in using a fly swatter first before you take the sledgehammer. Do the teaspoon, see how the teaspoon works. You can bump it up over time, but I am doing the teaspoon and that's how I started. That's what I've been told to do. And on the bottles and a lot of the, the, the research and a lot of the, the formulations I've read, it says one teaspoon daily or directed by your healthcare professional. You can take more because I read studies on the seeds and you can take more. Now, when it comes down to the uh, the capsules, the capsule oils or uh, in the pill form, the, the oil, uh, most of them that I have seen are around 500 milligrams, but they say take two of them two times a day. That's, uh, that's actually 2,000 milligrams. Okay, because they talk about two of those pills. Uh, I believe it's 500 each. So four of them is, is actually would be a 2,000. But they say you can take up to 10 of them. Well, let me back up now. I believe it was 500 milligrams. Yep, that's correct. 500 milligrams it was. And they say you can take up to 10 of them. So that's actually 5,000 milligrams or 5 grams. That's what they were saying on some of these bottles. But I will ask you to do your homework. I am not recommending how much you should take. There are many sites that say they take different things depending upon the standardization of or the processing, where you got it from or what company you got it from. It's all going to be a little different. All right. But the reason why I like the oil, it's simple. One teaspoon, you're done. And the protocol here is obviously before breakfast on an empty stomach. Um, regarding conditions of the chest, regarding skin, you can rub it directly in there. Uh, they talk about dry coughs. They talk about a half a teaspoon of oil, uh, they say, with coffee twice a day. Now, I'm not a coffee drinker. So I don't want to go into all the protocols, but I do want to mention that if you are going to take the seeds, do not take them raw. Uh, you're supposed to boil them. I recommend you do your homework. I haven't, I haven't dealt with the seeds. Uh, I've only dealt with this, and I've dealt with a big, big uh, nutritionist who's well, pretty well-known worldwide. Um, and that's where I'm getting my sources from. So the sources I'm sharing with you are sources that are research material, uh, things that I'm teaching myself. And I'm a believer in this. I started on this and uh, I will share my results as well. I Hopefully you enjoy this. Now, the reason why I think that this was so important is because of the fact that this information um uh, is something that many of you have never heard before. Okay, I am a, a, a newbie on this, uh, not just overnight, but I've knew, known quite about, a bit about this. I've never experienced it because there's so many different miraculous herbs and, and nutrients we can be taking uh, on our lives. And we don't want to just take everything that just sounds good. Uh, so I recommend that you start slow, whatever you do. And uh, very important because of the fact this does not does not have a lot of uh, omega threes. You must add omega threes. We want to get the balance of about one to two, one to three, one to four. We eat so much so much omega sixes, and we need to boost up that omega three because omega sixes are quite inflammatory. And even though this sounds so good, uh, realize that uh, it's just like you taking calcium and not taking vitamin D. You're not getting the benefit. We have to kind of always balance our diet, balance our nutrients. Don't ever think that, you know, because you're osteoporotic that you're going to run right to calcium. All right. Figure out potentially, you know, the stress that you're under or the alcohol or the, 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 the medicine you're taking or other foods you're eating that's de depleting your calcium. Rather than just taking it, find out why you're losing it. So that's why we really need to become more educated. And uh, I want to say thank you to our chat room out there for uh, following me and uh, you're very loyal. I want to say blessings to you and blessings to everyone who listens to this uh, video in the future. I ask you to leave your comments below. Uh, questions for me, you can uh, contact me on Facebook. A motivational Doc is my fan page. I ask you to like that. And I ask you to check out my channel. Many, 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 many self-help videos, postural, spinal, musculoskeletal. Uh, 
I've got so much there. And we are really hitting lots of nutrition, which has really been a big asset for uh, hopefully hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. Uh, anyways, uh, long program. I understand. I really appreciate you sticking with me. I, I say God bless to you, your families, your loved ones. Keep staying proactive. I love every one of you. And we'll be back with you real, real soon now. Bye-bye now.